In this video, we'll look at the bond angles for water, H2O. So when we look at the Lewis structure here, it looks like the bond angle between the hydrogen and the oxygen would just be linear. And that's part of the problem with Lewis structures. They don't really show us the shape of the molecule. Let's take a look at the water molecule in three dimensions. And let's remember that we have one, two lone pairs, and then we have these two hydrogen atoms. So the purple, that'll be the oxygen. We're going to add the two hydrogens, one, two. And you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Then we need to add those two lone pairs. Remember that lone pairs, they also occupy space, and they'll push the atoms down. Here are the one lone pair. We push these two hydrogens down on the molecule. We add our second lone pair. And now we end up with this shape for the water molecule with this bond angle here. And this is an ideal bond angle. So let's put that in 109.5. But this bond angle here, it's going to be a little bit different for water. And that's because the way we're treating things here is that they're all equal. That this, these two lone pairs here and these two hydrogen atoms, they're going to push equally against each other. But that's not the case. Let's look at the water molecule itself. So here's our water molecule, the red, that's the oxygen, the white, the hydrogens. And we see that we get a little bit of a different bond angle here. We get 104.5 for the water molecule. So the bond angle for H2O, it's less than 109.5. And that's because when we look at lone pairs, like these lone pairs on the top, they actually repel more than these hydrogen atoms. They repel a little bit more. Since these two on top, they're repelling a little bit more. That pushes the two hydrogen atoms down here closer together. That's why we have a bond angle. Instead of the 109.5, the ideal angle, we end up with 104.5. So this is the bond angle for H2O water. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So we may want to update our water molecule to look like this. So we have our two lone pairs up here and then our two hydrogens, which have been kind of forced down to give us this 104.45 degree bond angle. These bonds here represent a pair of electrons. This is Dr. B with the bond angles for water, H2O. Thanks for watching.